Golfers are just full of advice to each other, which can cause some absolute chaos. So the number one on that list is when another golfer gives that advice of saying, keep your head down. You lifted your head, which is a massive problem and causes absolute chaos. So welcome to Mark Henry Golf. We are going to go through why that is the worst bit of advice you can possibly receive. So normally that advice comes from after you've just topped it or you've thinned it straight through the back of the green. So that's when that, suddenly that advice pops up. Oh, you lifted your head. Now for a start, they probably weren't, weren't even watching. So you've just got to take that as a pinch of salt. So the reason that the head keeping that head down can have a massive effect on how you hit the ball. So it, it, it's, when you're trying to prevent something, it causes chaos. You, it's always easier to learn something new rather than to prevent something. So you've got to replace it with something. So the keeping the head down idea would then cause you to hit some kind of shot. You literally do not move, nothing moves. You stay completely still. There's no rotation, there's no side bend, there's nothing. Yes, you might hit the ball and feel you stay dead still, but nothing else has moved. There's no power, there's no movement in the goal shot. Now, generally, you will top the ball, which will give the impression that you lifted your head, is there's a few behind it. So mostly it's to do with your posture, how, to, how you maintain your posture through the swing or you're bending off that lead arm, which can then cause the top. So you're either hanging back on the shot, which will cause the club to come up, which then will cause you to top it. As you come through, you're leading with that elbow. So as you come through, you've got that chicken wing on the go, which will then cause the club to come up, which will then cause you to top it. It's also when you swing back, if you lose that posture and you stand up and then you've got that yo-yo effect up and down, which is then it's very difficult to get back down to the ball, which then will cause you to top it as well. So, but none of them have anything to do with you just saying, right, maintain and keep that head down. The head is on top of the shoulders. So how the head performs is more to do with how you, you set your posture and you maintain your angles. The head leads the body, so you want that feeling of coming through and getting through to that target. So the head, as you drive through, you allow that head to come up. You don't deliberately lift the head up, you just allow the head to go through. So as you're turning through, it will naturally come up to view the target. Yes, it needs to be down at impact. So as you're coming down, you will still have your eyes on the ball as you're turning through that shot. But if you specifically pinpoint it and you're keeping that head down, nothing else will work, nothing else will rotate and it will strip your rotation through the ball which will knock your power down massively. Nothing else is firing. So unless you've got massive arms, you will not generate any power. And then the knock-on effect of that is a missed strike, so a top, a fin. So it's a big list. So any time you get that advice that you've lifted your head or keep your head down, please put that to one side, totally ignore it, and then attack the other reasons why you possibly topped it. Loss of posture, chicken wing, staying back on it, hanging back on it, lifting up, all sorts. So just maintain those angles, and that will make a huge difference. Okay, any questions or comments, please send them through. Make sure you subscribe, give us a good thumbs up, and just ignore that bit of advice of keeping that head down.